Hey, what's up everybody? Checking out Spring ROM for the Nexus 6 here. This is running off of CM12.1, so it's been super stable and very, very smooth. I've had it on my phone for about a couple hours and haven't had any issues whatsoever. Now, I did flash Franco Kernel, the latest release, and I haven't had any issues there either. One thing I do want to make a note of real quickly is that this particular ROM is going to come with a very low DPI setting out of the flash. It's going to be roughly 480. And that's going to give you some issues with uh, some particular applications. So you might want to go and get a DPI changer or set your DPI a little bit higher. Uh, anywhere above 493, you'll be okay. So watch out for that. But yeah, this is running LMY47i build number as of this build the date of April 5th. And you have your 5.1 Android version and your 12.1 information there. Super solid ROM here with some nice features and very, very smooth. I haven't had any issues whatsoever since flashing it. So let's go ahead and check it out. We've got the sound options here. You are going to have the link ringtone and notification volumes option there. And another nice feature is you do have your toggles where you can get into all of your different sound modes and your standard vibrate and your audible toggle there. So that's very nice. You are going to have additional phone and notification ringtones or tones in here that are included. You will be able to use the increasing ring volume if you want to go and use that. You can start your volumes and ramp up times. You can launch a music app when the headset is connected with that toggle there. And you are going to have some vibrate controls with the calls and touch if you want to enable those features. Display and lights, you're going to have some nice things in here as well as all the way to the bottom, your LED notification lights. So that's great. So you can turn these off or on based on your preferences with the battery lights and your notification lights, you can go in here and toggle different colors. You can add more applications if you want to with some specific color details, and that's always nice. You can also disable this if you don't want to use it. It's up to you entirely. Great, great features with LEDs there. You do have live display as well with this ROM, which is great. You can change up your color temperatures on day and night toggles, and then go into your display modes and set those toggles. You can also just use an automatic mode or turn it off or use outdoor when it's super bright outside. That way it'll crank up your display settings so you won't have a hard time seeing that display. Now you are also going to have down here double tap to wake and double tap to sleep toggles. So if you want to use those, that's great. And it will be fully functional with your device and kernel. Wake on plug if you want to use that feature. Whenever you connect a power source, it will turn on your display. Expanded desktop is included with this ROM, and that is a great feature to have if you enjoy full screen mode. Uh, everything else is pretty standard. You do have a show search bar in the recents menu. So if you go into your recents here, you will now see the search bar up at the top. So we can disable that rather quickly. If you don't want to have that, it will be able to be taken away. So great stuff there in your display and lights, everything else pretty standard. You do have your CM themes here, so you can change up your themes if you want to. That will be a premium cost, of course, unless you've already bought some. But it is nice that, it, that you have that option. Notification manager, pretty typical stuff here. You can change a lot of different details with your notifications. Lock screen has some pretty nice features. All the way at the bottom, you do have smart lock enabled with this ROM. However, we all know that this is kind of buggy right now, but it is included. Maybe it will be fixed if it has not already been fixed. I haven't really tested it myself. You do have a display music visualizer. So if you are listening to music and you're in your lock screen, you will see a nice little visualizer down there at the bottom. And you also have lock screen shortcuts. So you can come in here and change these to none defaults, or you can select a specific application or action or activity for your lock screen launching. So that's nice stuff there in your lock screen settings. Buttons, you're gonna have some nice information. You can go into a left-handed mode. So we'll swap that nav bar over there to the left if you want to change that up based on your hand usage. Buttons and layouts, pretty standard stuff here. You can change up, you know, the placement of your buttons or your icons and a lot of different other things. You can also restore the defaults if you want to start over or go back to the standard lollipop layouts. You have your navigation rings here. You can enable these, which is really nice. So you can basically set up three different nav rings based on applications or launching abilities, like with uh, torch settings, get your flashlight rather quickly. You can also disable the Google if you want to, Google Now, or you can change out where it is. So you can go and change all that information. Once you're done, you just hit that little checkbox and you're good to go. You can always restore the default if you want to change it up, go back to the defaults or start over. 
Power menu, basic stuff here, reboot menu, screenshots, profile switcher, airplane mode, user switcher, and bug reports will have to be enabled to use those features. So if you long press the power button, you will get your options in here. Now, one thing to make a note of is with the advanced reboot, you will have to enable this in your developer settings as it is disabled on Flash for whatever reason. So just make sure you go back here and you get into your about phone and you tap on that build number as many times as you need to to get your developer options. And then once you're in there, just enable that advanced reboot and you're good to go. So yeah, we'll go back into the buttons here and continue where I left off. So yeah, power menu we just went over. You do have the in call and wake up device if you want to use these. I don't really recommend you use the in call feature that might come in, disable some phone calls on accidental usage. So be aware of that. Playback controls, you can change this up with the volume rockers or you can use the wake up device settings if you want to use those. And you can always reorient those volume rockers in landscape mode. So that's great stuff. Battery and security is all going to be pretty normal usage stuff. Uh, you do have a setup SIM RUIM card lock. I don't know if it's really particular with this ROM in general. But yeah, you do have that. Uh, system profiles, you can change up your toggles based on your location settings here if you want to use that. You can also disable it completely if you don't use profiles very often. Status bar is going to have some great features as well. You will have the option to adjust the clock there based on right, center, left. You can also hide it completely if you don't want to know what time it is or if you use a widget, that will be up to you. Obviously, you can put in the AM, PMs, and dates and all that. You will have your circle, battery icon, portrait or left, landscape, excuse me, text, or you can hide it altogether. You can place the percentage within the icon next to the icon or hide it like most other ROMs. Brightness control settings up there on the status bar and a show notification count. So you got some pretty nice standard stuff here in your status bar. Notification drawer is going to have your advanced stuff. So you're going to have your quick pull down here based on left or right. You can also disable this if you don't like that certain feature. You can also show the weather in your status bar header based on a reboot, I think, and toggling your GPS settings. You do have your quick settings panel here where you're going to get your panels and toggles. You can change these up based on your preference. So go ahead and toggle those wherever you want. And you can add a whole bunch of different options here if you want to use your live display, LTE, hotspots, and what have you. So great features there. And you can, of course, enlarge that first row if you want to have some stuff stand out based on your setting toggles. Just be aware that if you disable that, you will just have a basic on and off with your Wi-Fi toggles and Bluetooth. So you might not be a big fan of just that. You might want to have your detailed views. So you'll need to keep that enlarged first row. But you do have advanced location settings here. Don't know why the Wi-Fi was excluded, but it is. So just be aware of that. But other than that, some pretty great stuff. And you will have privacy settings. So you can go into here and do a privacy guard based on your applications. Once you get in there, you can get pretty advanced and disable the options and features within that application. As you can see here, I could disable the location if I wanted to, or NFC or auto start abilities. And each application is going to have different settings and features that you can enable. Pretty solid stuff here on this particular ROM. You do have a blacklist as well. Pretty solid ROM, pretty solid feature set. Uh, you guys can check this out. It is Spring, very simple name, CM12.1 based, and the performance is pretty great. No complaints here. Anyway, guys, that pretty much wraps up this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed this ROM or will enjoy this ROM if you flash it. And as always, you can subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this. Get, definitely give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this particular video. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one.